Freaky. They shoot this in infrared and the structure is jet black. Oh shit. <laughs> As kids we used to play football on. Rapid GoPro. Tremendous. Go on, mate. Yeah, but all good, mate. Cheers. Hey, bro. How you doing? All good, mate. Thanks. Now, yeah, mate. How you doing? Good day. How you doing? Do some time for lunch, eh? Oh shit. The balls it must have taken, and the and the brains to build something like that back in the day. No scaffolding, no health and safety executive, nothing like that. Get up there lads, build us a bridge, get over it. Well, not been a seasoned mountain biker. I'm absolutely loving this to be honest. It's quite rocky, quite, uh, quite pebbly, stony cobbled, that sort of thing. This is Town Louis Viaduct in the Age of Steel. Look at that baby. Oh, what? I mean, seriously, check that out. That is spectacular in anybody's book. That's when I was just up there. And I'm down here. And I didn't fall. Oh. I made the obvious decision to shoot this in infrared because the, uh, the structure is just popping out of the foliage. The foliage is coming up really white, obviously, and the structure is jet black. A bit of a sky going on in the background, I'm not too concerned about that. A clear blue sky would have been even better. But this will do, this will do. It's looking pretty cool on the back of the camera. I'll shoot a little bit of infrared footage as well, just to show the contrast. Glorious, absolutely glorious place. And this is the newer viaduct, replacing the old steel one. And I mean, fair enough, it's a feat of engineering, but it's not a looker, not like the other one. All I'm looking for on this little trip is shots of the viaduct further down the track that we can still walk across. And it's going to be quite spectacular. Wrong gear, Paul, wrong gear. Oh, shit. <laughs> one thing I keep forgetting to do is change bloody gear as I'm hitting the hills. And it leaves me in this, leaves me in the shit. That was a bit of a climb. Good workout, but it's fun, I think. Now, this is a section of the old original cobbled path for the stagecoaches. Before the viaducts were built, the train head used to stop at Horopitu. People had to get off, board onto a stagecoach, come across this Coach Road down to Alcone. Hey guys, how you doing? You all good? Whew. Yeah, I'll let you know later. <laughs> Wait, hey, hey, hey. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So far, loving it. Good fun. When I was going up to West Yorkshire, all of the back streets had these cobblestones. They're all bigger, more uniform, more level. As kids, we used to play football on uh, proper ankle breakers. But uh, good times, good times. And you know, somewhere around the mid 70s, I would guess, all the cobblestones started disappearing. There's truck loads of tarmac were brought into the area, and the cobblestones were all tarmacked over to make a nice level playing field for the boys playing football. Bless them, the council's really looked after us. I'm not sure that was the exact reason they did it, but uh, you know, we'll take it, we'll take it. Whew. You can probably hear my brakes working over time. I've got a coward streak for survival. Long may that continue. The new viaduct there, and that's the old viaduct there. Now quickly, well I've got some, uh, a little bit of power left. This is the start of the show as far as I'm concerned. Hapua Fenua Viaduct. And it's incredible. Man, I've, I'm kind of watching the foreground. I'm not looking down. Uh, she's a hell of a drop. And I'm hoping I can get across here before my GoPro battery dies. I've got two, and stupidly, I forgot to charge one last night. So uh, we've got one that's just about dead now. So, uh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, we get across. And some visuals. Oh man, this is freaky, this is freaky. It's so tempting to look over the side, but uh, balls to that. I'm like a Muppet, I only charged one bloody GoPro battery last night. I forgot to charge the other one. So, uh, 
we are out of GoPro. So we're onto the iPhone. I just want to show you the, the scale of this thing. I mean, look at that little maintenance vehicle down there. The largest curved viaduct in the Southern Hemisphere. And she's an absolute beauty. So lucky to be able to walk across this thing. I mean, man. Just insane, insane engineering. Obviously that's a newer viaduct, which was built, I believe, in 1974. This original viaduct was completed construction, started in 04, finished in 06. It's two years to build this, two years, two years, man. I must have got that wrong, surely. Surely I've got that wrong. How cool is that? When this viaduct shut down, they opened a new viaduct across the way there. And as, uh, as impressive as that is, again, it's really impressive, you know? Yeah, not the lads for making that. It's not a patch on this thing. Look at the character of this. Unbelievable. Now the downside to this is that I've got no sunlight at all. I'd love to shoot this in infrared, but it's not happening at the moment. Man, it's so freaky looking down from here. Jesus, what? Woo! Shit. You see GoPro? This, this is what it should be doing, hey? Who needs a freaking crappy GoPro with crappy batteries? I've got a bleeding iPhone. But anyway, let's try and make some photographs. We've got a bit of clear sky. Look at that, look, look, look. A little bit of clear sky there. So fingers crossed I'll be the other side of the viaduct when the light hits. So I can get the old infrared camera, which is there. And get that on the case. All right, don't drop your phone. Don't drop your phone. And now we've got some good light on the Hapua Fenua Viaduct. Absolutely glorious, look at this. Let me put this down and get the old, uh, get the old Expo 2 out before the sun goes. Love it. Here we go, getting some light on there now. Loving this shot now, absolutely loving this. And now we are getting some spectacular light. Look at that. I'm loving how infrared is bringing out the, uh, the pylons there, the structure. And you can see right down, shit. Not good, not a good look. We're gonna get lucky here. We've got a train coming over. Well, I don't know about you. But I thought that was pretty cool. Right underneath the new viaduct with the old viaduct in the background there. Man, seriously, how good? How good is this ride? Just see if we get some light just to light up the valley. All right, I reckon I've got the shot that I wanted. This is just stunning. I think this will work to treat. Chuffed to bits, absolutely chuffed to bits. And you see now the whole valley's lighting up. I don't know about you, but man, that light, look at, look at that. That is just spectacular. So I'm gonna saddle up, get moving along the trail. I've got about another 25 minutes, 30 minutes down to base. And um, we've got one more highlight and that is a tunnel, a railway tunnel, apparently. So we're gonna go through that. Let's see what that looks like. Try and make a couple of photographs in there. Could not have asked for a better shot than that. That is tremendous. Time to hit the Hapua Fenua tunnel. Shall I go on bike or do you walk? I don't like my bike in case somebody nicks it. Who's here to nick it? So this is the far side of the tunnel. And that's obviously going back into the tunnel. <laughs> Not a great deal to see, to be honest.
with a Canon L3. Nice. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. wasting these, to be honest. 